President Obama finished last night's State of the Union address with this round of applause asking Americans to remember our soldiers and their sacrifices as well as he highlighted Army Ranger Sergeant First Class Corey Remsburg. But the president's message is not being received so well by some of the men and women who served at Fort Hood in Texas. Remember, that was the site of the 2009 massacre by terrorist Nadal Hassan. He screamed, Alu Akbar, as he shot and killed 13 people and injured 30 others. The government refused to classify his attack as terror, which many feel it was. And instead, Eric Holder's Justice Department referred to it as workplace violence instead. That left the soldiers who serve at Fort Hood feeling forgotten. Now they can't even collect the same kind of benefits they would if it was classified a terrorist event. Retired Army Staff Sergeant Alonzo Lunsford was one of them. He attended last night's State of the Union address, and he joins us live from Washington, D.C. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Staff Sergeant, uh, I know that a number of senators and congressmen have been working to uh, bring you justice, which you feel the White House has not done. How disappointed were you that the president did not address your, your problems? Well, I was extremely disappointed because in listening to the whole format of the State of the Union address, listening to it, you, the president was basically talking about the country as a whole. But the underlying message is that, as we say in the athletic world, it's not about the me, it's about the we. And I was very honored to see that the Ranger was recognized last night, and it actually brought me to tears. But it also made me remember the 14 that I lost on the, on the 5th of November 2009 and the other 31 survivors of that terrorist act of that Surely. day. Staff Sergeant, tell folks at home who perhaps have not seen you before what happened to you that day. On the 5th of November 2009, I was I just relieved one of my soldiers uh, at the front of the Soldier Readiness Processing Center, and that's when Major Malik Nadal Hussain had yelled Alo Akbar, and he pulled out a weapon, and he killed 14 uh, individuals that day and wounded 32, and I sustained seven gunshot wounds, one to the head and six to the body. And I, I seem to remember they were not able to remove all the bullets, is that right? Absolutely. I still have one that is in my back, and with, which way the weather is right now, it kind of causes me a lot of problems. I, I bet it is. Um, you, you know, given the fact that, and you just detailed, that uh, this guy before he started shooting was screaming, Alu Akbar. Yes. We all know that it was terrorism, but Eric Holder's Department of Justice has refused to refer to it that way, and he was, Hassan was convicted. He's on death row at Leavenworth. But this is not the kind of justice you want. No, it's not. And one of the things that I would like to point out is that for Mr. Eric Holder to even make a statement like that, you know, that's to be expected from someone that has never served in the military or has even gone to visit our troops in theater or out of theater. So I basically look at it as him being in a state of confusion right now. But that's why he needs to rely on his staff so that he can be brought into, into the light to get the right answer so he can say the right thing. Staff Sergeant, you've been thinking about this for years now. Why is it this administration would not classify Fort Hood as an act of terror? Instead, it was just something about, yeah, some guy at work went crazy one day. Well, I think that one is that it's an embarrassment. However, that's where the powers that be are not giving the American people the benefit of the doubt because we're very resilient. Yes, it's an embarrassment. We bounce back and we can move forward. And the most important thing is so that it would not happen again. And we just need to address it for what it is. And so we can move on with our lives. Surely. Well, that's what you're trying to do. Staff Sergeant Alonzo Lunsford uh, joining us from Washington, where he attended last night's State of the Union address. Sir, thank you very much. Well, thank you. And I'd like to also thank Congresswoman Williams from Texas for inviting me up for the State of the Union address. That was really great of her. All right. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. All right. Uh, 19 minutes.